Okay, hello class. Uh, this is a snow day lecture on number theory, Math 301. And um, we're going to talk about uh, powers of congruence classes today. And uh, if you remember, we had uh, multiplication tables, modulo some integer, for example, here if we want to talk about uh, the prime number 5, we have uh, this multiplicative group here, and we have these four congruence classes, and uh, the multiplication table looks like this. Um, Okay, and um, now if uh, you have a different integer that's not prime, for example, uh, 4, then you get a table that's a little bit smaller because you don't include the elements that are not invertible modulo 4. So we will not in, uh, include 2 bar because 2 bar doesn't have an inverse modulo 4. So the table only looks like this little thing here. Now uh, we want to look at powers of a particular element. And um, so we want to look at things like uh, uh, 2 bar, uh, so this is in z mod 5z, the multiplication, multiplicative group. Uh, z, uh, so we're looking at 2 bar and 2 bar squared, 2 bar cubed, 2 bar 4, this infinite sequence here. And uh, let's, if we look at the table, we see we get uh, 2 bar, 4 bar, and 2 bar cubed is 8 bar, which is 3 bar. So we get that. And then 2 bar to the fourth is uh, 16 uh, bar, which is 1 bar. And now you see that what's going to happen is this just repeats itself. Whereas if we start with 4, then um, we get uh, 4 bar squared is 16 bar, which is 1 bar. And now it starts repeating itself much earlier than it did before. Right. So the... Uh, The smallest power of an element a bar is called the order of a bar. Okay. And uh, the order uh, in all of these uh, groups that we look at, there, there will always be an order of every congruence class. Well, uh, let's see. So why is that? Um, let's just look here. So, uh, well, I'm looking at the sequence a bar, a bar squared, a bar cubed, etc. And uh, uh, all of the powers uh, a bar i are in this thing z bar nz 
multiplication uh, because uh, this thing is uh, is closed under multiplication. Right. So that means you can't have more than n different powers. Right. So eventually this repeats. So eventually we get uh, powers uh, a bar to the j and a bar to the i which are equal to each other. So we could also say a j congruent to a i modulo n. Alright, so uh, uh, well what happens if you have a to the j equal a bar to j equal a bar to i. Well, just as an aside here, uh, if I take uh, a bar to the i and uh, multiply it by the inverse of um, a bar to the i, well, I can arrange this. So a bar to the i is the product of i copies of a bar and a bar inverse to the i is a product of i copies of a bar inverse. And since the multiplication is associative, uh, we can do the innermost uh, multiplication first and then get a 1 and, and uh, then we can ignore that and we can go on outward and so you see that we get uh, one bar. So the inverse of uh, a, to the a bar to the i is the a bar inverse to the i. Right. So we're going to use this notation. Let us denote a bar to the i inverse by a bar to the minus i. Right then uh, uh, if a bar to the i equals a bar to the j with j bigger than i, then 1 is a bar to the j times a bar to the minus i, right? Uh, and uh, this is equal to, let's see, so we multiply together j copies of a bar and we multiply together uh, i copies of a bar inverse and then uh, what's going to be left is j copies, uh, j minus i copies of a bar and so you see that the uh, multiplication of these congruence classes follows these rules of exponents that we're so used to, uh, even for negative exponents. Okay. So uh, we have here that 1 is among, always among the powers uh, a bar, a bar squared, all the way up to a bar cube. All right. Okay. So. All right. Okay. Uh, now, so the order of a bar is the smallest power. of a bar so that uh, uh, a bar to the k equals 1. Smallest power k of a bar so that a bar to the k is 1. All right. And uh, uh, so uh, 
Now if k is the order of a bar and n is an element of the natural numbers, we can write uh, n equals kq plus r, where this r is smaller than k. And so a bar to the n is a bar to the kq plus r, uh, which is a bar to the kq, a bar to the r, which is 1 bar to the q, a bar to the r, which is a bar to the r. Okay. So thus, uh, uh, the powers uh, a bar to the 0, a bar to the 1, uh, sorry, so the 1 all the way up to a bar to the k minus 1, which is the same set as a bar, a bar squared, all the way up to a bar k, uh, forms a subgroup of z mod nz times. All right, so um, so in uh, in z bar as uh, z mod five z uh, two and three have order four uh, four bar has order 2, and 1 bar has order 1. Okay, let's look at uh, z mod 9z. Right. So the elements are Uh, 1 bar, 2 bar, 4 bar, 5 bar, 7 bar, 8 bar, and uh, see we left out 3 and 6 because they are not relatively primed to 9. And and now we're going to make something that uh, I've seen called the power grid. And uh, so I'm going to list all of the elements of this multiplicative group down here, and uh, I'll just put the powers of each of them in order here. And uh, you'll see why we stop at a bar to the sixth, uh, and so uh, we're going to get uh, Um, now, any power of one bar is just going to give, give you one bar back, and 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, and 2 uh, to the fourth is 16, which is 7, and uh, 14 is 5, and 10 is 1, uh, 16 is uh, 7, um, 28 is 1, and now once we get 1, it repeats. So we get that, and 5 uh, squared is 25, which is, um, whoa, let's see, yeah, uh, 25, which is 7, and uh, uh, 35 is 8, and uh, 40 is 4 and 20 is 2, and 10 is 1, and uh, so uh, 49 is 4, um, 28 is 1, and then it repeats, and uh, 81 is 1,